Hello everyone, in this video we'll talk about gastrin. Gastrin is a local hormone found in the gastrointestinal system whose major function is to secrete the gastric HCL. So in this video we would look at what is gastrin, what is the function of gastrin, what is the mechanism of action and finally what are the factors that regulate gastrin secretion. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and please watch the video till the end. So gastrin is a peptide hormone and its major function is gastric HCL secretion from the parietal cell. Now gastrin also aid in gastric motility and contraction of the stomach and thereby it helps mobilizing the food particles or the partially digested food particles from the stomach to the intestine. Now gastrin is a linear peptide hormone produced by G cells of the duodenum and in the pyloric antrum of the stomach. Now gastrin can exist in three different forms. One is big gastrin which is 34 amino acid long, gastrin 17 or little gastrin which is 17 amino acid long and a mini gastrin which is 14 amino acid long. Now gastrin as expected it's a peptide hormone so it would be encoded by a gene and this gene is known as gas gene which is located in the 17th chromosome in human. Inside the 17th chromosome there would be gas gene which ultimately transcribes and translates into a precursor form of gastrin which is known as progastrin. From the progastrin there would be post translational modification which leads to production of big gastrin, mini gastrin or little gastrin. Now gastrin is released in response of certain stimuli and we would learn about them. So the first stimuli that helps in gastrin secretion is partially digested proteins, amino acids, etc. Especially the aromatic amino acids such as tyrosine, phenylalanine or tryptophan, etc. Now, secondly, hypercalcemia can increase gastrin secretion. Stomach detention and vagal nerve stimulation has also positive effect in terms of gastrin secretion. Let us look at the factors that inhibits gastrin secretion. First of all, the presence of too much HCL gives a feedback and prevents gastrin secretion because and thereby reducing the gastrin secretion reduces the HCL secretion as well from the parietal cell. Lastly, there are many hormones such as uh, GIP, secretin, VIP, glucagon, etc. which prevents gastrin secretion and thereby prevent the gastric HCL secretion as well. So now let us look at a particular parietal cell and let's see what gastrin does. So gastrin stimulates the parietal cell of the stomach to stimulate, to, to secrete the hydrochloric acid. Now it can also indirectly work on the enterochromatin cells and there would be CCK2 or gastrin receptors which can bind to gastrin 17 or mini gastrin. Ultimately, this leads to secretion of histamine. Histamine receptors are also present in these parietal cell. Histamine indirectly stimulate parietal cell to secrete further HCL. So what we learned that gastrin can directly stimulate parietal cell or it can aid in the production of histamine which indirectly stimulate gastric HCL. So the end, re end result is to secrete gastric HCL. So other functions of uh, gastrin includes uh, it secretes it, it helps the chief cell to secrete pepsinogen and thereby aid in protein digestion it increases antral muscle mobility and promotes stomach contraction also it strengthens the antral contraction against the pylorus pylorus and relaxes the pyloric sphincter which increases the rate of gastric emptying so at what rate the stomach would be emptied is kind of modulated by gastrin levels. Ultimately, it also induces pancreatic secretion and help in gallbladder emptying. So these are few important roles of gastrin in the gastrointestinal system. So lastly, let's summarize what we have learned. So we learned how gastrin is secreted. Then we talked about factors that affect gastrin secretion and we also reviewed the functions of gastrin other than gastric HCL secretion. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you 
Like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And do let me know in the comment how you like my video. Your comment gives me so much positive motivation, motivation that I can make more videos like these. My courses are also available in Unacademy. If you want to access those course, you can use my code AP10 to get a 10% discount. And thanks for listening. Thank you. See you in the next video.